Hello, everyone. Welcome to our 10th edition of our IWA Young Water Professional Global Coordination Call. My name is Isabella Espindola, and I work in IWA as a membership engagement officer. And I, I am responsible for the Young Water Professional community here. And I'm happy that we are organizing this event. This is something that me, Nietzsche, and Farouk, we have been working a lot to start the year with this, this event. And I hope that you enjoy, that you participate, and that you engage in this opportunity to get to know the other chapters and how we can estrange our connections between not only uh, young water professionals, but also as youth and show the power that we have to change our world and to change the water sector. So uh, I'm not the only one uh, doing and moderating this, uh, this event today. I have the amazing company of Nietzsche. You can open your camera and, and, and just say uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Sure. Uh, thanks, Isabella. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'll quickly introduce myself. Uh, I'm a YWP from India, and I'm a postdoctoral uh, researcher working on using omic techniques in monitoring of the water quality. And uh, I'm also uh, the chapter coordinator in the current uh, Emerging Water Leaders Committee, along with Farooq. And uh, I'm very excited for the conversations uh, expected ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Nietzsche. And we also have Farouk. Hello, everyone. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Farouk here. And I know most of you that it's such a blessing. And sorry for my voice. Typically, I sound better, but it's just early morning. I didn't have my coffee yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm Farouk, and uh, I'm PhD candidate at Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada, but soon to be doctor in one month. Okay, wait for that. <laughs> and uh, uh, at the same time, I teach. I have a passion for teaching, and I'm a professor at George Brown College. And I love IW. I'm an emerging water leader, chapter coordinator. That's how I met most of you. And also, I'm the chair of IW Young Water Professional in Canada, doing amazing things for young professionals in North America. And happy to be here and moderate this great event. Thank you. Thank you, Nietzsche, and thank you, Farouk, for, for your introductions and a brief presentation. And I know that we are all tired about Zoom and all this online engagement, but finger crossed that we will all be meeting in person in September in Copenhagen. But before that, I do have to say some rules about using Zoom. <laughs> Uh, so all the questions that you have for our amazing speakers today, please send them with this chat. So just type in the chat and feel free to introduce yourself, say where are you from, where you're based, and which chapter you're part of. And if you're not a speaker, please, I will ask that you turn off your camera and mute yourself during the presentations. But as soon as we have the, the breakout rooms, uh, you'll be able to open your camera and ask all the questions that you have for the speakers. And there is no need to share your screen. I will be doing this. And this, uh, this global coordination call is being recorded. So it will be available online after. And if you have any kind of question, just send in the chat, then we can go over it. And as I mentioned before, I am one of the moderators with Nietzsche and Farouk. And we have an amazing team of speakers. We have Emily Ryan, our chair from the Emerging Water Leaders uh, Steering Committee and also part of the Australia chapter. Then we have Chelsea, also from Australia, Shotaro from Japan, Philippe from Germany, Nadia from Denmark, and, and Amir from Canada. And we also have amazing rapporteurs that will be covering the, 
the breakup rooms, providing all the information that we need to see what you're discussing, what this uh, event is about. So we will compile the information that they provided. And I'm oh, sorry, I have another one coming. <laughs> and, and we'll compile all the information and put this in the IWA website. Without further delays in terms of our agenda, this is what we will be doing today. I'm doing this welcome with Nietzsche and Farouk. Then I'm just going to give a brief reflection about last year. And then we'll go over to the presentations of the chapters, starting with Australia, then Japan, Canada, Germany, and Denmark. And as soon as we finish the presentations, we will go to the breakup rooms. Uh, we'll have like three breakup rooms, one with Australia and Germany that will be moderated by Nikki, by Nietzsche, and Claudia will be the rapporteur. And then on the second breakup room, we have Canada and Japan uh, with Farouk and Tampo as uh, a rapporteur. And then in the last room, I will be there moderating with uh, the Denmark chapter and our steering committee. And finally, some closing remarks and some updates uh, and with opportunities for the chapters and the young water professionals. So if we think about last year, we did a lot. We did a lot in terms of our young water uh, community and how youth can be part of in the water sector. Here in IWA, we continue to act towards uh, youth empowerment, but not only with the association, but also across the water industry. We organize it to virtual get togethers and I hope that some of you were able to join. We started last year with the future of WASH. And in July, we had the next generation water action, uh, focus on how we can turn challenges into opportunities. And we had our first virtual Emerging Water Leaders Forum in November. It was three days events online with a lot of panels, workshops, and networking opportunities. And I know that some of our, of our speakers today, they were part of the, the event and they contributed not only to organize it, but also to the panels and the workshop. We had uh, a huge amount of um, uh, uh, young waters, a professional seeking part of it. And I'm happy to say that our next forum will be in person during the Copenhagen Congress in September, and that we are already planning for that. And I hope that it can count with your participation in all of that. So Nietzsche, Farouk, and Emily, we are all together in organizing this um, Emerging Water Leader Forums in person. Like we are very excited for this. And I will pass now to Janichi and Farouk. So we can start with the chapter presentation because they are the stars of today. Thank you. We're all stars, Niti and uh, Isabella. And I guess you're the moon today because uh, I just joined the idol day recently. So uh, welcome to the moon. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So let's start. Let's see at the a great initiatives all our chapters have done during this time, especially during the tough time of pandemics, to get closer and get connected to each other. Because this is the team of our um, call today to to learn from each other what other chapters have done and what we can learn from them. Here, copying is not a problem. Okay, we're here to copy to learn from each other. So feel free to take notes to ask questions, to copy each other's strategies, because that's how we learn, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's start. I'm not gonna talk more. So the first presentation will be from Australia. Emily and, uh, where's Chelsea? Chelsea there, okay, floor is yours. Thank you. Um, I'll take the lead on this one. So hi everyone, um, my name is Chelsea Hayward. I'm uh, based in Sydney, Australia. Um, and I'm one of the YWP representatives on our IWA Australia committee. Um, so we have a, a few things um, 
going on at the moment. These are all kind of current initiatives in Australia um, for our YWPs. Uh, so the first one on there, um, and hopefully there's no confusion because I think we use similar terminology between different programs and committees and things like that. But um, that first one is the Online Emerging Water Leaders um, program, which was established by the Australian Water Association um, this year. This is the first year that they're running it. Um, and there are five uh, YWPs from Australia and we've been uh, grouped up with um, YWPs from a few of our neighbouring countries in Southeast Asia and Nepal. So the other countries that are participating are uh, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, Cambodia and Nepal. Um, so the program aims to support uh, the development of YWPs and foster the development of YWP networks and programs across the region. Um, there's various activities that have been going on as part of the program. Um, so we've had a few presentations by experienced uh, industry professionals that cover um, topics such as design thinking, uh, project management, and we've got a session on proposal writing coming up. Um, and that is all kind of around some small group tasks that we've been given. So initially um, we got uh, put into small groups with a representative from each country. Um, and we had some discussions around comparing policy and technical challenges and discussing YWP networks in our countries and looking at any of the um, similarities and differences. Um, and then that actually fed into a um, presentation that we did as part of a forum at the Vietnam Australia Water Week. Uh, and then uh, now we are currently in the middle of um, a bit of a project and proposal development um, around various um, programs and initiatives aimed at YWPs in the region. So um, there's a group looking at a workplace exchange program, a group looking at a professional development project uh, program, another one looking at online networking platform, um, and that last group is looking at a mentoring program. Um, for YWPs in the region. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, it's been good professional development opportunity. Um, and there's also been opportunities to present in different forums and conferences. So um, I guess the culmination of the program is that we'll be submitting um, proposals for each of our um, group projects and then presenting at Oswater, our big um, Australian water conference in May. Uh, the next one that we've got on there is the Australia New Zealand um, combined AWA and IWA YWP conference for 2022, which is scheduled for late June um, with the topic of leave your mark on our water future. So that's a two day conference. Uh, there's gonna be over 30 presentations and eight interactive workshops and panel sessions all um, driven by YWPs from Australia and New Zealand. Um, and there'll also be some social functions and informal networking opportunities as well. Um, and yeah, those presentations and workshops will cover various topics ranging from uh, advances in treatment, uh, building resilience, future planning, digital transformation, um, sustainability, and then some um, panel sessions around climate change and social value, as well as making sure that we incorporate um, some sessions on cultural inclusivity. Um, so we really um, made sure that we had um, a focus on talking about our First Nations knowledge and how that feeds into the water sector in Australia and New Zealand as well. Uh, and then the final point on there is our Emerging Indigenous Water Leaders Scholarship. Uh, so this year is the second year that that scholarship has been running and we're halfway through that program. Um, so that's a partnership between AWA, um, IWA Australia and Watercorp, one of our um, utilities in Western Australia um, and the recipients of those scholarships kind of uh, mentored by experienced professionals and then um, sponsored to attend um, various conferences so that they can share their um, knowledge and imp um, improve their networking as well. And that is it from Australia. 
Thank you very much, Chelsea. I totally appreciate your sharing all the great initiatives from Australian chapters. Okay, uh, please note your questions. You will have time at the end of the call or after this presentation, not ended, <laughs> to ask your questions from Chelsea. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next presenter from Japan. Shotero, you there? There's Shotero. Okay, I'm gonna spotlight you and the floor is yours. Okay, so hi, I'm from Japan. I'm Shotaro from Japan, and I'm a member of the Japan YWP chapter, but currently I'm studying University College London in UK. So today I will give my presentation from IWA London head office, and um, this is a very good office actually. <laughs> I like it. So um, first of all, I want to explain an overview of Japan YWP. And 503 YWPs have registered currently as member of Japan YWP community. And especially they belong to Japanese, com Japanese water company, university and consulting company and so on. So in this year, we try to hold events in person, but you know, because of COVID-19, we cannot do actually. And we had five online events. For example, we held job seminar of water industry for university students. And the right picture is a web page of our chapter. So if you want to know more about our chapter, please visit this page. And then I want to explain about network project. This is main topic, what I want to tell you today. So now we are preparing the network project with YWP Philippines, and we have already discussed this project with them two times. And also next week, we will have a meeting and we will start our project from next month's April, hopefully. So as shown in the table, first of all, the reason why we choose Philippines is Japan and Philippines are geographically close. So we have a lot of interaction, not only the water sector, but also we collaborate each other, like the, uh, making the infrastructure or something like that. And the purpose of this project is we want to build a relationship between them. And we meet on, um, online one time per month. Duration is maybe six or three months, but we don't decide yet now. And we will um, invite 10 YWPs about from both countries, and we discuss mutual interests. I think this is a unique point of our project. So generally, we will invite YWPs from only Philippines and Japan to focus on two countries' relationships deeply. And after we finish our project with Philippines, we want to share our projects with IWA community. And also, we want to make um, networks with other countries. So but finally, uh, I want to say, so before starting this uh, project with YWP Philippines, we were supported by IWA Emerging Water Leaders Community and also JAMA YWP of Philips. So today you attend. And thank you very much again. Yeah, that is all of my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Shatero. Totally appreciate that great presentation. And yep, yeah, just note down your questions. I know there are no questions. Uh, we're gonna go to the next presenter and we're going now where? Isabella, we're going to Canada. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's exciting. <laughs> Okay, so because uh, I'm talking a lot, you don't want to hear my this voice without my coffee a lot. So the floor is uh, for you, Amr. Amr is our partnership director in Canada. Uh, so, yep, he's going to talk about the initiatives we are doing to engage with international chapters. Amr, floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Amr. I'm the uh, partnership director of the uh, YWP Canada chapter. And I'm a process researcher at uh, Energia. So uh, 
since the IWA Canada chapter is actually fairly new, uh, we started in 2019, so we didn't have much uh, of a chance really to do much uh, here because we've got like we've the previous activities that we had is which is the chapter mentorship program, which uh, which is was at the very start of the uh, of the program here. We've only had one webinar, which is. Uh, International webinar with uh, with the Norwegian chapter, I guess, which is the circular economy uh, tapping the power of wastewater, and lastly, which is was very recent, I think, was this month. We had a uh, a collaboration with uh, with YWP, YWP Germany where, on an event which uh, on their initiative, which is uh, building bridges, and we talked about the water supply challenges in uh, in both Canada and uh, and Germany. It was a Good juxtaposition, and inspired by that, we uh, we have an initiative to start a uh, an international collaboration between all YWP chapters. So, and we've decided that it would be best if we have uh, kind of we create kind of a networking series where uh, we meet where the Canadian chapter is meeting with with another chapter. Uh, on on like a on almost a bi monthly basis, and we've got topics about. Water, wastewater, water use, uh, solid waste modeling. We've got uh, experts in the field uh, in Canada uh, uh, on this, and uh, we could do it on our uh, gather town uh, space that we have already. And uh, basically, it would be uh, just an interaction between people working in the same field. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, you don't have to be talk about work. It's just uh, whoever finds any common interest uh, is more than welcome to join. And uh, at the very end of these uh, of these series, we would like to have one uh, single uh, uh, meeting with all the chapters all together uh, to uh, to get more networking and uh, get to, to know each other and probably brainstorm uh, to to create new ideas. Uh, for further collaborations or even have insight into each other's chapters and uh, in order to improve and you know, see ideas from here and there uh, we could we can adopt some of these ideas people maybe can be inspired by the canadian chapter who knows and uh and that's pretty much it for us thank you very much thank you so much amar and I, if I start, I could say a lot too, but okay, I'm going to stop here. <laughs> if you have any questions, just again, write at that. Okay, we're going to go to the next presenter, to the, uh, to the next uh, country chapter, Germany, our great collaborators. Germany, the floor hey. is yours. Philippe? Thanks. Yeah, my name is uh, Philippe or Phil. Um, I'm a communications officer at YWP Germany. Um, I guess our role in the in the industry uh, is is or our objective is similar to to the ones you have. We we like to connect uh, uh, the YWPs within Germany with the world and and vice versa and and really I guess get in touch with uh, incoming internationals, outgoing Germans, and and just wider YWP ex experts around the world. And um, I, I suppose we do that by organizing. Uh, networking events and, and roundtables within uh, Germany um, uh, contribute and collaborate with uh, publications. I think our own Hagima von Dittford, uh, part of the Emerging emerging leader, Leaders uh, Committee, has uh, recently been part of um, a great publication and um, yeah, just just gen generally uh, represents um, Germany's YWPs um, on or at international conferences, similar to um, the World Water Congress um, happening this year in September in uh, Copenhagen. And um, yeah, e events that we are holding um, online at the moment are the Building Bridges online series, which basically aims to connect YWP chapters um, from two countries and then have a bilateral dialogue um, engaging over a specific topic that is relevant to both countries. And um, what we do is we, we like to have a YWP speaker that um, 
gets the chance to present their research, their their project, uh, some topic they they are working on, and and give them a platform and empower them to, um, uh, yeah, just to present their work. Really, um, the second series that we are doing and that we've kicked off is the international project implementation series, and that's something where we get senior um, engineers, technicians, and and people of the water industry. Uh, involved that present on on or that give examples of of projects international projects that they've realized and that could be a development bank that could be a consultant that uh, could be any kind of background that's relevant to the international water industry um, then we've launched a program or are in the process of of uh, launching the program called Road to um, the World War Water Congress 2022. And um, that is basically to engage with the YWPs within Germany to um, assist us with a multimedia approach and reporting of, of the events. And uh, yeah, just, just be part of the events um, by uh, having the chance to um, have sponsored access to the conference as well. That's, uh, that's it in a nutshell from me. And uh, yeah, thank you for organizing and, and listening to me. Thank you so much, Philip. That was amazing and very, and I love your vision because your ch chapter is really example for all of us because you guys are really focusing on international collaboration and I can see that in all your activities. Thank you so much, Philip. And Thanks. Isabella, do we have another one? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Oh, I love visualization and lots of pictures. Great. Okay, now Denmark. Nadia, the floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, my name is uh, Nadia Lund. I'm the chair of Young Water Professional Denmark. It's uh, based in Copenhagen, just less than one kilometer from where the big conference will take place in, the, in September this year. So, I hope to see all of you. You here. Uh, so a brief overview of the Danish chapter. We are around 400 members in our network um, and we do tons of pure national activities. Uh, I won't bore you with those ones. I'll focus on the international collaborations that we've been doing over the last years. Um, but we do quite a few activities uh, Together with other chapters, the Building Bridges events has already been mentioned uh, by some of the other chapters as well. And then we also meet other chapters out in the, out in the world on conferences. We do workshops. A couple of years ago, we did a uh, From Research to Practice workshop in the Nordiva uh, conference in Finland with the young world professionals from there. We've also been visiting other young water professional conferences. For instance, last year we did another from research to practice workshop on the um, UK a young water professional conference. And we also had participation from a board on our national. Each year we also have a young water professional conference in Denmark. And a, sometimes we invite international guests in. A couple of years ago we had a visit from young water professionals in Norway, giving a common uh, workshop on uh, innovation in the water sector, which was uh, very inspiring. Then we also do some uh, common publications, mainly within the IWA uh, scope. Um, so for instance, uh, our old chair was a co-author of this uh, digital water uh, white paper written in collaboration with other young water professionals. Then we do some uh, mentoring sessions, I would call them with other young water professionals. It's mostly chapters that are either just formed or information. So we had meetings uh, recently with young water professionals in Ecuador. Uh, I included here a picture from a trip I went to uh, Malaysia some years ago to talk with the uh, young water professionals from down there uh, on what it's like to be a young water professional, what do you gain 
from having a formal chapter. And I gave a keynote speaker in a conference down there about what young water professionals can bring to the, to the table. Um, then currently we're focusing a lot on the IWA conference, of course, that's coming to Copenhagen. Um, and there we have a lot of initiatives that I hope uh, you'll also enjoy when you come. So personally, I sit in the Danish steering committee for the conference. And then we have two members on the program committee as well. That's uh, Ines Breda and uh, Dorotje Wagner, who hopefully select some nice uh, topics and, and uh, abstracts that's also interesting for young water professionals to come and listen to. Then we planned a young water professional dinner on the first day of the conference on the Monday, which will be at a venue really close by the conference location. And the, uh, the participation is sponsored by, uh, by one of our sponsors, Ampel. Uh, so it's free to participate and there's space for up to uh, 90 young water professionals. So you better sign up before your neighbor because there's a limited amount of seats. Uh, besides at the conference, we also uh, plan a Young Water Professional podcast. Uh, so that's uh, each day we'll do some recording about what the main topics of the conference was seen from a Young Water Professional perspective. Uh, then we submitted two uh, workshop proposals with other chapters, one with uh, the South African chapter and one with the uh, Ghana and the uh, Philippines, as far as I recall. So I really hope that they will be accepted. I heard that the, the abstracts uh, that have been chosen in the workshops will get notified here in the beginning of April. So I'm very curious to see, see if we got in there. Then there will also be a, a Nordic uh, stand in the exhibition area where the, the Nordic young water professionals will have their own part. Uh, and we have a collaboration with our Nordic uh, sister and brothers about creating really nice content for that, uh, for that stand. So uh, when you come to Copenhagen, please stop by the Nordic Young Water Professional stand. And then we're also in dialogue with IWA about how to make a really cool uh, Young Water Professional uh, stand as part of the IWA stand in the exhibition area. Then we also do some um, some Danish, you could say it's Danish events, but they reach out to other chapters. One of them is the Next Generation Water Action that was also mentioned in the beginning. That is an initiative driven by the Technical University of Denmark, um, who has this concept that they want to gather a hundred young people at important congresses in Copenhagen. And this is the third theme that they're running. Uh, initially, they contacted uh, me in the Danish chapter to hear a bit more about the IWA Congress uh, and how, if they made a course related to this, how could that then interact with the Young Water Professional Network? So the idea is that there are students from five different countries uh, that works on five real case challenges during this uh, semester. Um, and then now it's second time we're running it. This time we have young water professional mentors from each of the, the participating countries. So that's uh, one from Denmark, one from uh, South Korea, uh, from Mexico, uh, Niti is with us from India, and then we have uh, Kenya as well. Uh, and these young water professional then are the link for the students. So whenever the students face a problem, uh, during the course, or if, if they're working on something and want to know more about a specific uh, water topic, they can reach out to their young water professional and then share their network and uh, knowledge with them. And as a final thing that is very much still on the sketching board is that we are planning a European Young Water Professional Conference to hopefully take place in Copenhagen in 2024 as kind of a follow-up on the big uh, the big World Water Congress. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. That was all. Thank you very much, Nadia. That was really, really uh, comprehensive. And 
I think all of us here in this room are looking forward to all your great initiatives in the Congress to come in person. And uh, I'm, I'm, right after this uh, meeting, I'm going to go rush to that White Big Dinner uh, <laughs> link to register. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, all the speakers. And now it's time for an open discussion. Um, Isabella, are we taking any question in the main room or we're just heading to the breakout? breakout? Oh, we do have time to receive some messages. Do we have time? Yes, we have Thank like 10 you. minutes here. So we okay. can have. We can have a couple of questions, like yes. two, three. Two okay. or three. Wonderful. So if you have any questions, simply raise your hand using the Zoom function or you can give me a smiley. I love smileys, okay? Probably this one, this is my, my favorite one. <laughs> or you can just <laughs> unmute yourself or type into the chat. So any question? I will stop sharing my screen so we can see who wants Thank to go you. on okay. spot. <laughs> Wonderful. And feel free to open your camera and your mic so we can see you. Yeah. Now it's time to turn on your cameras. Everyone turn on your camera so we can see each other's beautiful faces. Emily has her hands up. Yay, hey Emily. Yeah, I'm always ready with a question. Um, <laughs> I love the, um, Nadia, I love the idea from YWP Denmark of um, doing the, the podcasts during the Congress to sort of gather YWP insights as it's happening. Um, I think something like that would work amazingly at Australian conferences or virtually any in-person event. I'm just curious, how does that work um, from like a technical standpoint? Do you have like a spot at the conference or does the YWP kind of go home and record it in the quiet of their home? No, the, the plan is that we're still working on on how to do it precisely, but we localize the room at, at the conference uh, venue where we'll set up some equipment. And, and it is the Denmark Water Association um, or the, the governing member kind of supporting um, getting that equipment and things through the, the conference? Uh, we're, we're still working on, on the financial, okay. <laughs> financial part. Fair but enough. we did the, so in Denmark, it works like we we have quite a few sponsors from the Danish water sector that gives us money each year. So we have saved a budget for this specific event because we knew for many years it would come to Denmark. So even though nobody else wants to sponsor it, we will we will have internal funding in the network too. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So it's that's like a rental kind of situation. It's not like there's like latent technology sitting within. Yeah. This session. Okay, cool. Thank you, Emily, Great for idea, the though. question and Nadia for the answer. And any other questions? I, I have a question for the German uh, chapter. Is it yes, chapter? Nadia, go ahead. I just saw it said it said something about a German water dinner or something on the on the road to a, to the World Water Congress. I'm just curious what that was about. Um yeah, yeah, correct. I didn't didn't really go into much detail um, on that slide in that regard. Um, that will be a, I guess, a dinner that we are having with um, the IWA Germany, so the with the senior IWA Germany uh, uh, chapter, not not just young young water professionals, and um, that is something that is being being organised by. Um, uh, by the national committee where the German young water professionals will have a opportunity to um, yeah, just to participate as well as part of their sponsorship program with, uh, with uh, yeah, the, the participants and, and the organizations um, uh, being there. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and we have a question in the chat. I'm going to read it quickly. Um, it's from Claudia, our reporter. Yay, Claudia. <laughs> so um, Claudia is interested in being part of the YWP Ecuador, but uh, we would like to know how's that Philipp pipeline, how's that pipeline in other chapters? Do you have work groups, uh, identify initiatives, and look for volunteers? So I guess that goes to, um, it's for Ecuador. Do we have a rep from Ecuador? 
Farouk, uh, Claudia is from the uh, IWP Ecuador, right? Ecuador, yeah, and, and yes, she wants yes. to know. Oh, so it's, it's another Claudia, oh my <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm this is such a mess. <laughs> it's morning, sorry, didn't have my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anyone for, from Ecuador here? No, she is from Ecuador and she wants yes. to know if, how, how is the yes. process with all their chapters uh, regarding um, how uh, you uh, how you include like new members? How is the process? Because she's receiving like questions. Oh, I'm interested in being part of IWP Ecuador. How we can proceed after this? I see. Thanks for explaining the question. Yeah, I, I guess my reading sucks. <laughs> Morning. <Okay. laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so Isabella, do you want to answer that somehow? Or do anyone else has uh, a hint for Claudia? Well, she asked to hear from older chapters. Yes, so uh, that's why I'm asking. Everyone is welcome to. I, I can tell a little bit about how we do in Denmark. So in Denmark, we have what we call regional groups. So Denmark is not so big. So we have the three regional groups and they all have a local representative and a local kind of core group that makes local events. So whenever we get a new member, they are introduced into the network through those uh, local activities. Thank you, Nadia. Okay, um, anyone else would like to add anything? I, yeah, I would say the process is quite similar in Australia. Um, so in Australia, we have um, a chapter in each state um, and then IWA Australia Committee is our governing member to the IWA. And so for each chapter in each state, they usually have a, an open meeting once a year where people who are interested in joining the committee um, can get involved uh, and get a flavor for what a YWP meeting feels like. And then they can nominate themselves to the committee after that and goes from there typically. Um, but uh, for people who are new members to the IWA as well, um, Claudia, uh, there's loads of different ways that YWPs can get involved, not even just through chapters, but um, you can also guide them to things like the specialist groups and um, other ways to engage with the IWA to make sure that there's like, uh, yeah, opportunities for them to engage at, at, at different levels of the association so they really see that value. And Claudia, and if you have any other questions regarding how you can include new members, you can always reach out to me and I'm, I'm more than eager to help during this process. I know that sometimes uh, it's difficult to understand how we can explain the association, the benefits of it, but uh, I'm sure that you have like examples here showing that it is possible to, to explain <laughs> and to show how, how to include new members. And again, I think that it can always adapt to our chapter needs and how it will function. Yes, and I just wanted to add one last thing to Claudia's point. Claudia, your question is now popular. <laughs> um, so because you are a newly created chapter, I just read the full message. <laughs> I think I skipped the first part. Um, in Canada, we did a mentorship program where we had the, the, the more established chapter coming in and talking to us and giving us the heads specifically to our chapter. For example, we had people from Denmark and South, South Africa to come and uh, mentor us. So that, that, that's another good approach that you can adopt and take more tips from the chapters specifically to your region. So connect with them and invite them for a coffee <laughs> and I guess virtual coffee, and then you can learn more from them. So that, that's another hint for you. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Isabella, I think from your look, I understood that we don't have more time. <laughs> yes, there you go. See? I'm sorry to be the bad person today. <laughs> to no, you're not. You, you're really great. You just looked at me and I'm like, okay, it's done. We're going to the breakout room, everyone. <laughs> Any question, take it to the breakout rooms, okay? So I'm going to open the rooms and um, remember that we have like three rooms uh, in the first. I'm going to show the slide. So it, it's easy. <laughs> so Australia and Germany will be in room one, Canada and Japan in room two and Denmark and the steering committee on room three. OK, I will Beautiful. open the rooms now so you can choose. Uh, where you want to go. 
Sounds good. So we're choosing where to go by ourselves, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so um, we're joining. Everyone just, just join the room that you want. Click on join, just go. Um, excuse me. Um, hi, I'm hi. from India and by the way, India. So which room should I join? Tarika, you can choose uh, the rooms because uh, the, the ones that you have with the name is just uh, reconnected to the speakers. So you can choose, if you want to know more about Australia, you can just go to room one. If you want to know more okay. about Japan, you go to room two. Sure, sure. All right, thank you. So any chapter you want to track with, you just go to that room. Okay, and I'm glad, bye-bye. Stop sharing here so I can see the others. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Max. How was the, the discussion? Quite fruitful. Oh, that's good. At least that was my experience. <laughs> Claudia was the judge about it. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I have my camera switched off. I don't know. Uh, our company is blocking Zoom just recently, I think, because of the Russian invasion. Um, they got quite uh, scared about yeah. cyber. Oh, is Zoom a, a Russian company or does not matter? I didn't really? know this. No, we're working for a utility in Germany. I'm working for Wolfverband. And um, we operate yeah, around roughly 60 water, wastewater treatment plants and a couple of reservoirs. And uh, yeah, we just got recently hit by or a satellite network that we are using actually was affected by Russian uh, cyber attacks. And so they just locked down and increased the firewalls. I see. Okay. So <laughs> it's not very pleasing, but yeah, there's a workaround by mobile phones. So it's all right. We can manage. So I think that we are all back from the breakout rooms. I hope that you enjoy it, that the discussions um, were great and that you could like engage and and communicate with the other chapters. And I hope that from this discussion, we get other projects in the future. So I'm really looking forward to receive your reports and work plan for the next year, including some collaboration <laughs> between the chapters. <laughs> um, Farouk and Iti, do you want to add something? Absolutely. We did have a great discussion in our um, uh, breakout room too, and we did come up with great upcoming events, believe it or not. So, <laughs> so look forward uh, to a networking sessions. What we're going to take turns. So we're going to start with Argentina and Ecuador with Canada. So that, that was one of the uh, outcome of our discussion and also great tips for our newly created chapters. We had, again, Argentina and Ecuador in our room and uh, they got great tips. And yep, that was, that was it. We enjoyed the discussion. Niti, pass it to you. Thanks, Farouk. Uh, uh, we had a similar uh, interaction in our breakout room. There was a lot of uh, sharing of what has worked and what has not worked as well. Uh, and uh, likewise, it has been very helpful, especially, especially for chapters, upcoming chapters like Italy and India. So uh, it was very um, uh, enlightening and a learning experience uh, uh, from the interactions of the established YWC chapters uh, in our breakup group. Uh, we also managed to take a poll uh, and register the responses of uh, what has the collaboration led to and what are the effective means of uh, YWP collaborations going forward, which I'll share post the meeting and then we can probably share with everyone. So, yeah, it was amazing brainstorming session for us as well. Oh, I'm happy to hear this. Thank you, Nishi, for sharing. So without delay, I think that we can go with our final remarks, our final consideration <laughs> for the meeting <laughs> today. And we have, I have some really good updates and Emily also has some information to share. Let me share my screen again. Okay. Can you see my screen? It is showing. Yes. Perfect. So, um, some upcoming opportunities for our young water professionals. We have our call for volunteers open to join the Emerging Water Leaders Forum Organizing Committee. 
So you will be working with me, Farouk, Nietzsche, and Emily on that. And you will have to organize our forum, decide about the, the panels, how we can create this amazing forum for all our members. And I hope that you sign up for this. So please share among your chapter members, your network. We are really looking to have this a really good organizing committee to ensure that we create something that you all will enjoy during the forum. And we also launched the call for nomination for the Young Leadership Awards. So you have until 6th of May to apply for that. Uh, one of the past uh, awardees uh, was Jacob. Um, he is also part of the Emerging Water Leaders Steering Committee. And I, I'm, I'm really looking to see who will be, uh, who will receive this award this year and the ceremony will be during the Congress. Yeah, that's, it's a fantastic award. Uh, even just to be nominated for that award, the exposure that you get within the organization um, and, and the profiling. So uh, if there is a young leader in your community who you think deserves some credit um, and is, involved with the International Water Association, I would urge you to uh, nominate them for that award. Mm -hmm. And as we are talking about some IWP events, we have to start with this one. Emily, all yours. Yes. <laughs> okay. So on the 20th of April, we're going to be having a, another YWP get together to learn a little bit more about the Emerging Water Leaders Steering Committee. We actually have elections um, for the 2022 to 2024 oh my goodness, 2024, um, <laughs> steering committee. Um, and those are going to be opening soon. Um, and this session on the 20th of April is just a chance to learn more about what does the Emerging Water Leaders Committee do um, and what you might want to include in your nomination to improve your odds of getting voted for <laughs> um, and making it onto the committee to help represent uh, YWPs in your region or your demographic. Uh, so looking forward to, to hopefully seeing a few more of these faces there. Exactly. So we'll be launching the, the nominations for the, the, for the next uh, steering committee in the beginning of April, and they will be open until end of April, and the voting will be during May. So yes. uh, if you want to, to be part of and uh, to, to be included in, in the nomination process, I do recommend that you sign up for this get together. I'm going to, to launch, like officially launch it this week. So this is totally yeah. a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. For, 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 the, for the event today. And uh, I'm, I, I want to see you all engaging into this opportunity and, and submitting yourself to be part of the steering committee. And today we have like members from the study committee so that they can also share the experience and they will be present during this event. It's also an opportunity to talk with them. Okay, and then following this get together, we have the Benelux conference next week. I will be there. So if you'll be there, just <laughs> send me a message and we can meet. Um, this will be one of the first in-person meetings that IWA staff is going to, um, is going and one of the first that we are having in person after the pandemic. So this is something that we are looking forward to, to be part of it and to see uh, all the, the papers, the researches and the workshops that they are planning to. And following this, we have the one, uh, the Young Water Professionals in Mexico the Congress that they were planning, and the one in Australia, maybe Emily can do something. Do you know yeah, some information, our... some, some spoilers about it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know that this is happening in Sydney. It's the first time it's happened in Sydney since 2016. Um, the last Australia-New Zealand YWP conference 
that was held in March 2020 was the last in-person event that we had as well in Australia before everything locked down. Uh, but that was such a fantastic event. Um, we were getting uh, fantastic buzz from members who attended for uh, months afterwards. Um, so stay tuned, I guess, for outputs from that conference. Uh, it's I, I love why do we pay conferences? They're such a positive and um, kind of inspiring session. So, yeah. And it was like impossible for me to close this meeting without saying about the Congress in, <laughs> in Denmark. So we have the super, super early bird uh, rates available. So please do register for that. We also have the forum and during the same uh, the same time. So it's not only an opportunity for you to engage with other young water uh, professionals, but also to engage with uh, the, uh, the association community, to know more about the SGs, what they are doing, uh, the works that they are presenting in the Congress. So it is a really good opportunity for all of you to, to be part of it. And if you resist some, you have like, Discounts on that. <laughs> and talking about discounts, we also have discounts <laughs> available for young water professionals. So if you have a new member in your chapter, or if you want to be uh, an IWA member, you can sign up for a membership. You can use the discount that is special for young water professionals. Just go to our website and you can become a member uh, following the instructions that they have there. And some other opportunities for all of you to get involved with, and not only by becoming a member of IWA, but also going to IWA Connect, joining uh, the Young Water Professional Group, following us on Twitter, uh, on LinkedIn, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, the first one from, from this year, I, I sent in the beginning of March. The next one will be on June. So you do have time to sign up for that. You also can get involved and join the specialist groups and follow us on Twitter. And you can be in touch with all the the updates that we have. And if you have any kind of question, you can just send a message uh, to me. I live in like my email here. And we have our amazing Emerging Water Leaders Steering Committees. They are also uh, open to, to, to reply to your questions, to your doubts. And if you want to, to create a new chapter, you can always reach out to me or to Nietzsche and, and Farouk and we can guide you in this process. So from my side, this is it. And uh, I will pass uh, the word to Farouk and Nietzsche if they want to, to add something. So we can close our global coordination call. Oh, we're all good. I'm just waiting for the picture. I've been uh, the, we're looking for my perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you I so took, much, everyone. I took a lot of pictures when you're oh, not you paying attention. Yeah, oh my God, I, look, my eyes are closed. That's not fair. It's a like you no, didn't get but this is up. spontaneous. But I will take another one. But I, I was taking <laughs> screenshots because we have like the, the rooms. So I wanted like. Okay. I was waiting at the also. end. I thought probably at the end we're taking it. Are we? No, gonna... but no, we are going to take it. I can. Oh, okay, we're going to take it. Okay, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> so I have it. So let me get mine here. But well, we're getting ready for the picture. Yeah, we are getting Thanks, ready. Everyone. So open your camera. It's amazing. You feel comfortable, me. of course. Okay, let me get some light. <laughs> Prepare the light. <laughs> <laughs> so are we all ready? Yep. Okay, perfect. So remember to smile. <laughs> Yay, you got it. <laughs> Yay, that was good. <laughs> okay. I right. will post on our social media so you can share. And I can also share my email so you can all have your copy from that.
thank you so much. Well, yep, it was wonderful just having all of you guys. And I just shared my LinkedIn and the um, chat. So feel free to reach out if you have any question for your chapter, if you're, you know, well, you're forming the chapter now and uh, any help with your constitution or proposal or anything. Um, again, as Isabla mentioned, uh, myself, Niti, and Isabla were there to help you. So just feel free to just shoot in text and email or whatever you feel free if you feel like you want to do so it's all okay okay so just looking forward to hear from you guys thank you so much again so thank you everyone for coming today and we are here if you need it so thank you once again and have a nice week and i hope that i can see you all in the next get together that we have in april sure okay bye-bye okay. everyone bye-bye Bye. Thank you, so much. Bye. Thank you everyone. Bye. For Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.